Empty elevator shaft from the 80th floor, trying to stop the bleeding with Washington in town here. And we'll check on NFL vagabond Bud Carson, trying to take the Browns where they've never been before, but where his wife is sure to follow if they do. On our way, scores outside the top 25 in college basketball, including Iowa, which hasn't won in 1990. Well, the Broncos' passing attack will be shorthanded. The Browns will probably be without defensive back Tony Blaylock to cover them, still reeling with a cervical sprain suffered against the Bills. But there's one member of the Cleveland family who is concerned with both the Browns and their injuries. She's a medical reporter for a local TV station, and she's Coach Bud Carson's wife. Our Tom Kirkland has more from Cleveland. After kicking around the NFL for 16 years, Bud Carson's no longer just a piece of the puzzle. He's finally the focal point. And at 58, the best times of his life are all around him right now. I figure the worst can happen to me is get, I get fired, and I've been fired before, so it won't be the first time. He's poised, uh, uh, you know, he's real good under pressure, and, 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 and I don't have to tell you how excited we are to have him here. He's just an excellent coach. Carson's had only two head coaching jobs. The first one, 23 years ago, on the collegiate level with Georgia Tech, and now finishing up his first year here in Cleveland with the Browns. In between, his resume resembles a Rand McNally map book with stops in six different cities, including Pittsburgh, where he's credited with molding that steel curtain defense that dominated football in the 70s. I always thought that was... Uh... If you had to move to get a job to get uh, well-known, and I thought that was the secret of getting a job. It, it isn't. And for the last 16 and a half years, when you get Bud, you get Mrs. Carson as well. Linda's a medical reporter for WJW-TV in Cleveland, and the other half of Allied Van Line's favorite alliance. My job is at stake there, just like Bud's job, because if Bud loses his job, he's going to leave town, and I'm going to be right behind him looking for another job. So every time there's a fumble or an interception, I see my whole life on the line. While Bud was walking tall on his turf, earning a reputation as a defensive genius, Linda had to become a jack-of-all TV trades in eight different jobs. Weather, consumer, features, and with a little of Bud's coaching, even a sports reporter during those super days in Pittsburgh. The adjustment she's had to do has been uh, unbelievable in the fact that she's been able to, to work and, and produce and do a good job every place we've been. And I, I keep telling her it ought to be a lot of satisfaction to her. Togetherness is rare in their relationship, so it's not picture perfect in a traditional sense. He doesn't open doors for me. He forgets. He doesn't send flowers. He doesn't say romantic things, but I know he's there for me. I know he cares, and I know I can always depend on him. Owner Art Modell's depending on Bud, too. Hired him specifically to boost the Browns to another level, so leadership is Carson's latest lust. The preparation, the game, the high from winning, that's what it's all about. It's the kind of moving experience that could finally keep the Carsons right where they are. In Cleveland, Tom Kirkland, CNN Sports. You know, Bud may not be much of a romantic, but he may be giving her a week's stay in New Orleans in a couple of weeks, depending on what happens Sunday yeah, in Denver. He'll get romantic perhaps after the month's over, you know. Right. On deck, CNN.